hello guys welcome back in this uh, video let's explore some tools in the mesh menu here and the uh, tools are under the snap uh, section and i just want to cover all of them uh, so don't get confused with uh, some snap options here so i'll be talking only about these tools here under the mesh menu okay so um, we have this option called selection to the grid let's say if i select this object and just move it and then this object is non uh, uh, you know um, it's non integer number uh, it's it's not at the grid uh, that's pre precisely to say so when i say selection to the grid that object will go and snap to the grid uh, points so it is now no more uh, a floating number it's a digital number uh, it's a sorry uh, integer number just you need to select that and then just apply snap selection to the grid and then it turns into an integer it snaps to a round figure number and then we have uh, selection to the cursor uh, you know uh, you uh, there's a cursor in the in the viewport uh, right now it is here but if i press shift s uh, you get a menu where you could see things will come uh, where you could generally shift the cursor to the origin okay now you can select uh, any of the object and then go to the snap option and then say selection to the cursor okay uh, then the object uh, goes to the cursor uh, location so wherever the cursor is there so now i've placed the cursor here so if i go to this tool and then use selection to the cursor it will snap that to this place and then we have a selection to the cursor with offset now this is something really interesting let me select these three objects or maybe i'll select these two objects and then i go to the snap and then say selection to the cursor you should be able to see that two objects individually went and snapped to the cursor point but when i select uh, the more than uh, one object and then say sel selection to the cursor but keep offset so the total selection is considered as one object and this point will go and snap to the cursor there when i choose selection to the cursor with offset option on if not you get all the objects snapped to that particular location then uh, we have uh, this tool selection to the active uh, one thing you need to know that is uh, uh, when i've selected multiple objects this the the light colored selection is the active object or when i select uh, multiple objects in a sequence the last selected object is the active object so when i say snap selection to active all the objects go and snap to that particular location okay so this becomes the snapping point then we have a cursor to the selected so if i select any object and then choose uh, cursor to the selected the cursor will snap to the pivot point of the selected object then we have a cursor to the world origin where the cursor uh, will uh, jump to the origin object and then we have cursor to the grid let's say if the cursor is not located snapping to the grid then we have this tool called cursor to the grid it will snap to the nearest grid point then cursor to the active the cursor will uh, shift to the active object this all tools can be accessed by pressing shift s on the keyboard and you should able to see cursor uh, selection uh, to the cursor offset selection to active selection to the cursor cursor to the grid so all that options can be accessed just by pressing shift s on the keyboard and then you get this menu okay and uh, uh, this can be uh, uh, when uh, these tools generally help you to speed up your work when you're doing uh, one thing you should know that when you are working with the component mode okay these tools work at that time too let's say if i say selection to the cursor that vertex is jumped to the cursor uh, and if i select the edge here and then uh, choose selection to the cursor the two vertices went there and merged there even though you have selected the edge component however you can choose selection to the cursor with offset where the edge preserves its uh, width so you can snap these objects as i told you this tool will help you speeding up your work okay